Hello everyone, here is Maher Haddad. So today I'm going to do a new uh, video for you on my YouTube channel to show you how you can integrate uh, Microtech and Cisco together to configure OHPF. So we are going to run OHPF on the uh, network scenario that I'm going to work on. And uh, we do have uh, two Cisco routers and uh, one uh, Microtech router. And I wanna run uh, OHPF so the routing are being learned from uh, one router to another. So this is very interesting. I'm very happy to show you this. I think that is my first uh, video that I uh, bundle uh, two different brands uh, together. So uh, I said that's uh, maybe a, a good time now to show you that uh, on my YouTube channel. So let's go directly and see what is the lab scenario and then we will start doing the lab. So that is my scenario. I do have here three routers. Router one is a Cisco router. Router two is a Cisco router and router three is a Microtech router. Those routers are connected to each other on those interfaces, as you can see, and there are those IP addresses, so we have to put those IP addresses. And uh, the router 3 has a remote network, which is 3.3.3.3 on this side. Router 1 has 1.1.1.1, router 2 has 2.2.2.2, so those are the remote networks. So the idea is that at the end, after I configure OSPF on all those routers, so I have to configure OSPF here, OSPF here, or SPF here, they will teach each other about the routing uh, for each of the side. And then at the end, router 3 will be able to reach 1.1.1.1 and 2.2.2.2. Router 1 will be able to reach 2.2.2.2 and 3.3.3.3. And of course, router 2 can reach 1.1.1.1 and 3.3.3.3. All those will be learned via OSPF. So I'm going to show you how to configure OSPF on the Cisco routers and also on the Microtech router, and we have to see if it's going to work. Just to mention that OSPF is an open standard routing protocol. It means that it works on uh, different uh, brands. So it's an open standard. It's not like, for example, EIGRP, which is a uh, proprietary protocol, routing protocol for Cisco, meaning that if you want to run EIGRP, you should have Cisco routers everywhere. While on SPF, that's not needed because it's an open standard. So we can run it on Cisco, we can run it on uh, Microtech, we can run it on uh, Juniper and so forth. So I just want to see if this neighborship will happen between Router 3 and Router 2 on SPF, and then if they're going to be learned routes from each other. So let's go directly and start uh, with the lab. So I would just uh, first go to Router 1 and uh, put the IP addresses. And I'm going to create here, this is a loopback interface. And this is, I'm going to make it a loopback interface. And on the Microtech, I'm going to make it a loopback interface, which is normally a bridge interface we created. So those just to be like the remote networks that we are going to have. And I'm going to put IP addresses. And then after I finish doing IP addresses, I have to ping everything to be able to see if they can reach each other on the IP level. And then afterward, I will start configuring OSPF. So let's start directly with Router 1. So I will go to Router 1. And on Cisco, we have to do everything on command line. On Microtech, we are going to use the Winbox. So I'll go to the configure terminal. I'll go to the interface gigabit 0 over 0. Please follow the picture that you can see it on uh, upright of the uh, uh, picture or of the video so you can see what I'm doing. So interface gigabit 0 over 0. And then I'll put IP address 192.168.12.1. 255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown. And then I'm going to create an interface which I call it loopback interface 0. This will represent the remote network which is 1.1.1.1. And I'm going to use the whole subnet mask because that's a loopback interface. Okay, uh, there is no need to say no shutdown for the loopback interface because it's up uh, by default. Now, if we want to check the configuration, show IP interface brief, we can see that we have assigned on this interface 191.8.12.1, and on uh, loopback, we have 1.1.1.1. So this is finished on router 1, we go to router 2. On router 2, we go to the configure terminal on the interface gigabit 0 over 0. Also, I have to say IP address 192.168.12.2 in this case with a subnet mask of slash 24, which is 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. And then um, we have another interface, which is connected to the Microtech router. So I will go to the interface 
um, giga, uh, actually it is fast Ethernet 1 over 0, as you can see in the picture. And then I will put an IP address on it, 192.168.23.2.255.255.255.0. No shutdown. And now I'll go to the interface loopback 0. And then I will put an IP address of 2.2.2.2.255.255.255.0. And now we check, show IP interface brief. So we can see that it's up, it's uh, assigned, it's IP is assigned, and this IP on the back is assigned, very good. Now, of course, uh, don't forget to make save for your configuration, but uh, yeah, I will do it maybe at the end. Uh, now we go to the Microtech router, which is router 3. On router 3, we have to go to the IP address, and I'm going to, uh, so this IP is just to connect my computer to the router, to the Microtech router. Okay, now I will uh, put an IP address of 192.168.23.3 slash 24. And uh, I'm going to put it on the interface, which is Ethernet 1, as you can see on the picture. Now we create a bridge interface. Um, let's create a new bridge interface. We call it loopback. And uh, on uh, this bridge interface, I'm going to put the IP 3.3.3.3 slash 32 loopback interface. Okay, very good. So now let's try to ping from uh, the, each router to another to see if the layer 3 is working. So from this router, I will try to ping to router 2, which is 192.168.23.2. You can see we do have reply, very good. Go to router 2, we ping first to the Microtech router, so I'm going to say ping to 192.168.23.3, it's success. I ping to router 1, 192.168.12.1, it is success. We go to router 1 at the end, and I ping to 192.168.12.2. It is a success. Very good. So we have layer 3 now working. Now, if I try to ping from router 1 to the remote network, which is on the Microtech router, which is 3.3.3.3. And then I can say here that uh, I want uh, the source to be coming from 1.1.1.1. Look what we are going to have. So it's not going to work. Why? Because the router 1 does not know anything about in his routing table, how to reach to 3.3.3.3. So if we say here, show IP, show IP route, look, he doesn't know anything about 3.3.3. He doesn't have any entry about it. So now we have to configure OSPF. As I'm on router 1, I will start configuring OSPF on router 1. First, I will say show IP interface brief to know what I have to advertise on OSPF. So I have to advertise this network and this network, so two networks. We start with the first one, so first we have to go to configure terminal, and then I will say router or SPF, and then I will give it an instance one. Then I will say the router ID, I want it to be 1.1.1.1, so I hard code what the router ID will be, which is the name that the router will have on the neighborship uh, inside the OSPF uh, from the other routers, in this case from router two, it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna say network, so the first network I want to advertise it is 192.168.12.0 with this uh, white card mask, which is the inverse of the subnet mask. And then area 0, there is going to be an area 0. And the second network is 1.1.1.1.0.0.0.0 and area 0. Now, um, I'm not sure if we, we assigned the IP address uh, one for 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. let, let me just make one check. So uh, do show IP interface loopback zero. So let's see. Oh, that is slash 32. That's correct. So yeah, it's correct what I was writing. Now we go back to here on the uh, on the uh, OSPF 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. 0, 0, 0, 0, area 0. Okay, very good. So now if I say show, run, and then I'll make this uh, pipe and I say section 
OSPF. So we can see that this is the configuration that I have configured on router 1, which is absolutely correct. Now we go to router 2. Uh, again, I say show IP interface brief. Before I do that, let me just check also if the uh, loopback, I put it slash 32. So show uh, IP interface loopback 0. Oh, here I made it slash 24. That's okay. So um, we will go now to the uh, show IP interface brief. And then I will go to configure terminal, router or SPF. One router ID two the two the two the two. Even if you don't put here the router ID, it will take two the two the two the two as the router ID because that is on the loopback interface. And normally the my the Cisco router will take which is on the loopback interface the IP as a router ID. So that is router ID, and then I will say network. So I have to advertise those three networks. I will start with the first one one nine two one six eight dot one two dot zero. 000 255 area 0. Then the second one is going to be, you can see the neighborship has formed already with router 1. That is with router 3, which is Microtech. And then we'll say network 2.2.2.0.0.0.255 because we said slash 24 here, and then area 0. Very good. Now I go to the last one, which is uh, the Microtech router. And then from here, I have to go to routing, OSPF. I create an instance. And let's put the router ID to be 3.3.3.3. And then I will go and create an area. The area is going to be, we call it backbone, which is 0. It means area ID 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the backbone area, which is backbone 0. That is on the hexadecimal. So correct. Now we go to the interface template, and I will say I want to advertise which interfaces. So over here, my interfaces are Ethernet 1 and the loopback interfaces. I want to advertise them. You can put the network if you want, but there is no need. So if you say only the interfaces, is going to be fine. And then I will say here, OK. And let's uh, look on router 2 if the neighbor, you see the formed neighborship with the, the uh, uh, Microtech router. You can see how nice it is. Now let's go to the Microtech again and check if we have neighbors. So we have formed neighbor or SPF neighbor with um, uh, router 2. And if we go to router 2, I will say here show IP or SPF neighbor. So it has formed neighbor with, you see, Microtech router and router 1. It has formed the neighborship. Very good. And then we go to router 1, and I'll say show IP OSPF neighbor. Also, it has formed neighborship with router 2. Very good. So now let's see if they have exchanged routing tables to each other. As we are on router 1, I will say show IP uh, OSPF route. Show IP actually route or SPF it should be route or SPF. So we can see it has learned from OSPF 2.2, which is the remote network of router 2, very good, and 3.3. And of course, it has learned the 2.3, which is, if we go back to here, this network, because router 1 didn't know about this network, so it has learned also from OSPF about this network. Excellent. So this is uh, working perfectly. We go to router 2, show IP route or SPF. So it has learned about 1.1 and 3.3 from OSPF. Also excellent. And then we go to the Microtech router. And over here, we can go to the um, IP routes. And we can see it has learned 1.1 from OSPF, 2.2 from OSPF, and 192.1.2.0, which is this link, because router 3 didn't know about that uh, network, so it also has learned it. Very good. So now let's make the experiment to see if now router 1 can reach to all the loopback interfaces of router 2 and router 3. I will start by ping to 2.2.2.2 from the source address, which is 1.1.1.1, which is his loopback. So the ping is coming from his loopback to the loopback of router 2. It is working. Now we make ping to 3.3. 
which is the one on the MicroTik router. And then it is working. So that's from one side. If we go now to the MicroTik router, if you want, and we can do the same. So from tools, uh, we go to the ping, and uh, we try to ping to 1.1.1.1 from 3.3.3.3. It is working. And then we can try to ping to 2.2.2.2 from 3.3.3.3. It is working. So now we can say that uh, our network uh, or our routing is converged. Everybody knows about everybody. And you can see all SPF is working perfectly between the Cisco routers and uh, the Microtech router without any issue. And that's uh, what uh, is the goal of this lab to show you that that's possible, that you can run the, uh, the routing protocol or SPF on different brands. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. It's uh, about how you can configure OSPF. Uh, using uh, Microtech and Cisco, but you can also use some other brands. That's not a problem. And it is working perfectly. If you like my way of teaching, please don't forget to put like on the video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by the new videos when I upload them on my YouTube channel. And also I urge you to check my website, which is mynetworktraining.com, where I have a lot of online courses speaking about uh, networking uh, for different brands. So I thank you very much for the time you spent watching my video and till next time.